and we're going to finally wrap up our settings activity by connecting some music to this slide and we're going to make some music play across our entire app across all of these activities and we're going to do that by adding some methods to the droid application class and using the application class to play music app wise across many different activities isn't ideal and I'll show you why at the end of the tutorial so I don't recommend it but I just want to further give a demonstration of the reach of this application class and I've already chosen a piece of music from freesound.org from the user called Dingo1 is what it sounds like and if we look at the license this is a license under the attribution license so I have to reference this guy he also has a website called pound sound here it is royalty free audio for YouTube channels apps games videos and more okay that's enough promotion let's get down to some coding so we want to get into the droid 101 application class so let's open the droid 101 application class if you want to play music in Android you'll need to use something called a media player so let's create a media player object media player media I'm going to call it media and the title of the song or tune I'm going to use and that's uh, well it's just an electronic loop you're going to want to create the object so if we go into the on create method for the class we'll assign an object to media electronic loop and we'll create a new media player we can now create the member methods that will control the playing and the stopping of our sound so here, here they are music play music stop and as I've shown in the sound pool tutorial you need to place your sound or tune in the raw directory under your resources and I prefer to use the .ogg sound format let's get the music stop out of the way it's the simplest one all you need to do to stop music is get your media player and just stop playing music is a little bit more involved you want to make sure that you take your media player so in my case it's media electronic dot loop and you want to reset it you may have carried out some operations on it before so this clears it now in our case we'd like to loop the music so there is a member method called set looping and I'm going to set that to true now we need a try catch loop to actually get the resource and play our music the first step is to set our data source and our data source is under raw electronic loop dot ogg but it's a little bit involved so pay close attention so you take your media player and the member method is set data source you need to get the application context and then the resource location but it's not as easy as typing r.raw.electronic loop you have to use a uri so you do uri.pass and it accepts a string and the first part of the string is always going to be and android.resource colon forward slash forward slash and then your package name and in my case it's net.clientuser.droid101 and it's at this point you append your r.raw.electronic loop don't worry about this red line it's just a friendly reminder that we have to catch and handle the catch the next thing well let's let's handle that catch it's an io exception and we want to print a stack trace now we have a handle on our resource we need to prepare it for playing so many steps so media electronic loop that's our media player object and we prepare it and finally we can start the music but we're not done yet we need to now use these member methods music play and music stop in our settings activity so let's go to the settings activity 
and find the handler for our music switch. On check change listener, if it's checked and true, we want the music on. So here we would use app.musicplay and otherwise we want the music off. So that would be app.musicstop. That's all we need to do. Let's hit save and run. Let's not waste any time. Let's go straight into our settings and test the music button. There's the music and that should play across all of these activities. About activity, settings activity, main activity, my first button activity. So let's exit. My first button activity. Still music playing. Let's test the button sounds. So coin up. Application sound. Excellent. At button pressed. Let's turn the sound effects off, but keep the music playing. Oh, and take a look. The settings has remembered that we want our switch turned to on. Nothing coming from application sound. That's exactly how we wanted it. Now, remember I mentioned that we may not want to use this method to play music across all of the applications, the activities. Look at what happens when I hit the home button. The music keeps playing. Let's get back into our application. Let's, let's turn that off. What does this mean? This means that when you get a phone call or any other interruption, your app's music is going to continue to play and it's not going to be a nice user experience. If we look at the application class and if we look at the override methods, There is no on pause method for the application class, so we can't stop it as it exits. At best, we can on terminate stop the music, but that's taken care of anyway. So I'd recommend being a bit more creative, maybe not using music across all of the activities, or if you want to use the same music, use bundles to pass the position of the music as you leave one activity and pick it up in the new activity and handle stopping it in the on pause method for that activity. There's no way around it, I'm afraid. If there is, let me know in the comments. That's it. That's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.